Good boy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Good boy. Massive hog. I have like a tad bit of a suspicion that the girls are gonna get jealous and start making noise over there because oh, yeah. they want in here. They're gonna be wondering why we're talking. I, 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 so you'll probably hear them. Doesn't he look like young as ever, even though he's gonna be what? 11, 12? <laughs> he looks young as ever. He's why am I losing 12. my mind? He's gonna be 12, well. okay? I always knew his age until like just recently. I'm starting to get old and lose my mind. Alright, so Bear is going to chew a bone and enjoy himself while we update you guys on everything. Okay. Oh. You're covered in bulldog air black. It's not a good choice. So, a few months ago, at the beginning of all of this madness, we did a little story time video on Yellow because so many people were asking about him. Oh, like, on. it was craziness. Where are you going? Go you, you just keep telling the story. I gotta put a towel down. Okay. I'm gonna ruin the couch. <laughs> it was craziness. I couldn't even keep up with the DMs and the questions and the comments of asking where he was, what was going on and stuff. So, I was like, why don't we just do a nice little story time video? So anytime people ask about him, we can just link that video and have all of your questions asked. Yeah. So I will link that video here if you want to go back and look at it. It talks about how he lost his eye and his ear and also, sadly, his mind a little bit because <laughs> he's... Wasn't, a, wasn't much to lose. He's, he's definitely a little different nowadays. Um, and he also wasn't living with us for probably like a year. Yeah. I can't believe it was that long. He but, was living um, with my mom for a while because he's not... He's not friendly with other dogs, and uh, you know we've tried. He was in his younger years, but something about after the surgery and after everything, he just—I think he feels very vulnerable. Yeah. So he's just not like friendly, and it's just—it's hard on the girls. So he lives with my mom. Used to live with my mom, and that's a great life for him anyway. She loves dogs. She actually had the mother dog to their litter when, when I moved out into my first apartment. I took them with me. Um, him and Savannah. Uh, but they like had she, he had a great life with her. So that's where he was for the past probably about a year and a half. But my mom just moved to North Carolina finally. So she's been talking about doing it for a very long time. And You're uh, jumping into the big news here. I was gonna save this for the end of the oh, video. Oh, you were saving that? But we can tell them. Let's tell them. Okay, we well, have big news. He's back, and he'd be back. You know, he'd spend like a weekend here or whatever, and you'd see him from time to time. Uh, but she moved. So and she, I didn't, you know, want him to go to North Carolina. So, and never see him again, so he's back at home now, so he'll be Boogie is home. home. Yeah. That's like a big announcement, because so many people are always asking, where's yellow, where's yellow, where's yellow? He was actually in my video today, so you'll see yeah. that. <laughs> so, the big boy is home, and um, I feel like the, the reason why I get that question a lot is because I normally post the girls together on their Instagram, and he's never in the picture with them. Piglet's pawing. <laughs> the trying to get in right in. now. Um, but it's because he would literally eat them for dinner if he was in the same picture. So I take pictures of them separately, and if they happen to be in the same picture together, it's most likely photoshopped. <laughs> You're going to tell a secret? Yeah, we did it. Well, I, I, felt, I feel like I can, you know, We only really did it one them. time, <laughs> but we wanted to make it look like a real nice family picture, so we just took them at the same place separately and then just yeah. photoshopped them in. So they're doing Christmas pictures this week, and I'm going to try my best to have them be all together with Mike's help and the help of food and stuff. So uh, that's... Basically, stinks. like <laughs> he's old. Stinks. stinks. His breath stinks. <laughs> um, he actually has multiple dead teeth, but the does. risk, which we'll talk about in a second, but the, we can't can't put him under anesthesia because of this thing he's got going on. So there's nothing we can do about it. It just stinks. Doesn't hurt him. He's fine. He just stinks. Whenever I post pictures of the girls, everyone's asking, where is Yellow? And that's the whole point. He's not able to take pictures with them. Like, whenever I take pictures of the girls, he's around. Whenever we did our Thanksgiving Day picture together, he was around. And, you know, we took pictures with just him. So that's kind of the explanation. Um, he is here. He just can't be in the same pictures as them. And I also want to jump back to Mike explaining... His mom watching him for that year, not only because he's aggressive towards the girls lately, but because at the beginning of this health 
craziness. He was on so many meds, like 20 some meds. And she didn't have a job and we were working so she offered to help out and you know, do that. And you were what, getting up like every three hours to give him meds in the middle of the night. But yeah, it was a pretty tough uh, schedule, but he's pretty low maintenance now. Yeah, he I is. Hope, so. he, what, he's on like three just, things just now? He just needs a couple pills when he eats and eye drops twice a day, so. We also have a little health update for you. You can go, if you want it, you can do that. Or I can, well, a, I'll explain the little first part, how we kind of found out. Um, so he's a bulldog. Obviously, we're going to have a new and improved update video for you all with his health. Um, everything is totally fine with our story time video. He's totally healthy from that. There's literally nothing wrong with him. And even we explained like how if he goes to the vet, they have to put on hazmat suits and everything because he has some certain disease that other dogs can well, get. He's actually cured of that Yeah, now. he doesn't have that anymore. So that's crazy. So he's totally, literally fine from his meltdown. But we now have new, new problem. problems. Um, he was going for his annual checkup with you know everything that went on, and they found a lump on his rear end, and they thought like you know this was going to be it. This was going to be the cancer that was going to kill him. And they took him in a few weeks later for an ultrasound, and they actually found cancer all throughout like his stomach lung area. So basically, he has an adrenal gland tumor that's pretty large. Um, and he's actually not, he hasn't shown any symptoms or anything, but obviously, and you know, that the tumor isn't pressing on his heart or taking away lung function or anything, but being a tumor by nature, uh, they are relatively unpredictable and there is a blood supply there. So, and they're not strong like an organ. So what can happen of course is it can rupture and it will rupture eventually at some point, probably, unless he were to die from some other thing first. Um, they don't think will happen. Yeah, so an adrenal gland tumor that is growing, um, not cancerous, but... I thought it was cancer, my bad. Oh, it might be cancerous. I have a lot to keep up with all this bulldog health I stuff, actually but... It, it's, it's irrelevant whether it's cancerous or not. It's, it doesn't even matter because it's large enough that it, there's no, there's, it's wrapped around um, oh. his uh, adrenal gland. It's wrapped around something else. So essentially... There, there's nothing we could do and we we've exhausted I mean for us we're luck lucky enough to be in a financial situation where you know when he had his first meltdown um, I poured 38 grand into him no questions asked because he's my boy you know I love him he's like my son so um, but at this time unfortunately no amount of money or yeah. treatment or anything else can save him which he's a 12 year old going almost 12 year old bulldog and if you know about bulldogs they don't live long. And I mean, he's really yeah. old already. And they've been pretty good health well. Honestly, I mean, Savannah had lung cancer. He's had his issues, but it hasn't been like, you know, they've each had like one big thing, but it hasn't been like a constant theme their whole life. Like they've been pretty healthy, so I can't complain. Basically, that's what's gonna, so at some point that will rupture and he will bleed out internally, which this is like a horrible video. Yeah, that sounds horrible, but, <laughs> but that's, you know, the truth. That's the inevitable for him and they, Said it could be he's a about week. To knock over the camera. Or it could be three months. He is gonna knock over the camera. <laughs> he's literally. So we don't know. Uh, That's where we're at. Oh, it's, it's so confusing. Yeah. It's so frustrating. Cause like, I mean, he's happier than ever. He's totally normal. Yeah, he's got no symptoms. He's so he's, happy. He's not in pain. Unfortunately, if that does happen, it might be painful for him. In which case, you know, I'll have to rush him to the vet, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's been a great dog and. So we'll see how he lives out his final days. But that's basically the update. I think he's around for like two more years. Nobody else agrees it with me, but be. I mean, he's I a mean, beast. He's proving everyone wrong. And I'm, I legitimately think he has two more years left. I know my be. boy, I can just tell. I mean, he might get crazy lucky. He might never rupture him, who knows? It didn't, that happened to his mom. His, that's what happened to his mom. Yeah, yeah. Mike's mom's female bulldog. She had one rupture and that's how she passed away. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so he He's doing good though. He does have cancer in his rear end area, but that is yeah. never going to kill him before this issue in his stomach. The vet says. Yeah. So there's literally nothing to even worry about. Do you about remember that how long there. they gave him? I think they gave him like a couple weeks, six weeks. I thought they said like just a few months or something. Three months. I don't to really six remember months. much because it's so much. They pound so much information in yeah, your head. Yeah, it's hard to like, remember every little thing. 
but plus when it doesn't matter it's like he's gonna die anyway i mean what's you know i try not to get caught up in if he was savable you know then i would really worry about it, but i'm not really worried you know he's living his best life that's all that matters he sure is oh my god get, like it doesn't matter you know it's whatever he's 12 years old everyone's got to die unfortunately and uh you know he's had a heck of a life and he's already he was already on borrowed time after his meltdown last time so he's oh doing my god. really good now. i mean we're gonna be going on two years two yeah. freaking years so that's that's basically everything yellow is around he's doing amazing and yeah, you saw him up here he's still like you know, he's in no pain. He loves to chew his stuff. Um, can you think of anything else, babe? I think that's it. I feel like that's everything. That's a sad video. Like, not a video I wanted to make. Not a video I'm excited about making. Mike was so procrastinating on it's, this. It's it's an important update because people are going to ask. So. Well, we chose to share our lives on here. And we're going to have to share the good, the bad, and the 100%. ugly. And everyone is non-stop asking about him because how could you not? He's amazing and adorable. I've had him since I was 15. And that's a long time ago. Mike. Long so, time ago. That's that. I mean, there's some good news to this. He's home and yeah. I just for now. really wanted to update you guys on his health and let you know what's going on. So that's pretty much everything I think. Alright. Well you're really pretty. Thanks. <laughs> Says yellow. So wow. I feel like let's pick him up for the outro. Okay, here. There he is. Oh my He's god. He's so heavy. Alright, so Thank you guys for watching. Tell them thank you because they are your biggest supporters ever. Yeah, you know, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be saved the first time. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any more questions, just, you know, let us know. But I think we covered everything in this video and our story time with him a few months ago. So, we'll see you guys in the next vlog.